I was starting panicking myself because we were waiting, you know, and we were waiting in a battlefield. I was trying to get out of Afghanistan in any possible case. I didn't want to live under that regime again. I just left everything. Even I left my cats in my house. In the airport, I saw American troops with their vehicles. They come out and they were leading a small group of people to American charter planes. There was a huge number of people running towards the plane and it was a disaster. It was total disaster there. A lot of people stepped uh, into kids, into old people. They were in the ground. I have really, really bad traumas from that night. People were so panicking because Taliban was reaching. We heard fire guns in the air. A lot of people just get in that charter flights and women were crying, kids were crying. It was so hot, there was no oxygen almost. The U.S. Troops came inside the plane and they were leading people to get out. So I decided to get out because I felt guilty. We were on that plane. A lot of people were dying outside. I felt guilty because my parents were in Kabul still. They closed the gate of the plane. The plane didn't take off for another hour. I was starting panicking myself because we were waiting, you know, and we were waiting in a battlefield. There was no water. There was no air for people. There was no sitting place. Everyone was sitting on each other. Some people were standing. Total chaos. After one hour, the plane just started moving and then people were so happy. One of the happiest moments in their life was the moment that Americans decided that they are going to take them from the airport. A lot of people lost everything, including me. I lost like almost everything. Here is my life in Afghanistan, my home, my family, my everything is there. And I'm here and I don't know what's going to happen next step for me. My wife is in Germany. I want to see my wife. I want to just get out of this chaos. No one expected this. So I'm just trying to be brave. But I can say I was just lucky. And they took us from that airport and we are in Qatar. Mm -hmm. I was just among those lucky people, I can say.